Yeah, it definitely is. Uh, I mean, I'm a goalkeeper, so one of us gets to go and that's that. Uh, so for me though, it's more about the team focus. I think if I keep my focus a little bit broader, obviously every day you're, you're trying to get better and be the best that you can be, but always making sure that you're helping the team get better because at the end of the day, it's the team that wins the gold medal, not just those that go there. So making sure that we're all lifting each other up, supporting each other and really challenging each other and, and giving each other our best efforts every day to make sure that uh, no matter who's picked in the group, when we get there, we've got a really good chance of winning that gold medal. I guess for me, I don't really try to feel the pressure. I kind of look at training as a day-to-day -day, um, thing and kind of getting better each day and um, kind of making sure I'm doing the best that I can be doing um, and hopefully selection takes care of itself. Well, I haven't had to experience it personally before, but I can imagine it's going to be very stressful um, for everyone and the quality of hockey is going to just get even greater leading up to it. Um, it's going to be intense training, but I guess that's all we're all here for, so it'll be super exciting, but obviously very nerve-wracking at the same time. Yeah, it's definitely a balance. I think um, those girls, both previous, um, myself, that have been through an Olympic campaign and those coming through, I definitely recommend they have a balance outside of hockey, whether it's a job, whether it's uni whether it's a hobby, um, taking something else outside of hockey to distract you from what happens on the pitch. You don't want to be dwelling on it too much during your general life and that ends up allowing you to play with a lot more freedom and gain that ultimate goal of being selected and being successful.